Hey everyone, how you doing? Into Weapons back again with you. Well, my wife did pack up all her stuff and move out. As you can see, the shelves are empty. Fortunately for me, it was just her craft room. Uh, she essentially took all of her stuff of her craft room and moved it to the other side of the basement. <clears throat> and then you can see here, we got everything set up now over here. And that was just because we have our daughter. She turned four years old recently, and uh, they really needed a good spot where they were able to spread out and do arts and crafts and uh, projects and all that kinds of good stuff that kids like to do. We got a couch over there and um, you know multiple chairs and two eight foot tables, a bunch of shelving units, things of that nature and uh, a lot more versatility uh, on that craft room side than what we had over here in this little tiny room uh, especially with that large bench that we have for my wife. It really wasn't uh, suitable for sitting and doing crafts like that. So uh, this worked out really nice for them. They were able to spread out and do a little bit more than what they could do over in this room. Uh, but that also let me be able to uh, kind of expand my gun room, man cave room, uh, to the other side of the basement. As you uh, guys probably remember, this originally was my wife's uh, room, the entire thing. It was all one craft room before we had our daughter. And she was nice enough to let me move into one half of it. So uh, now she's moved out. She's got a nice big space and I can take over this space and uh, like I said, turn it into more of a man cave. So uh, she left behind the workbench. Like I said, it really didn't work too well for uh, uh, crafting and stuff like that. So I was going to slide that over and combine it with my bench and just kind of expand the size of that, which will be nice be able to do a little bit more. And uh, like I said, spread out on my end a little bit more for gunsmithing. Uh, get a couple more shelves, I'd obviously integrate the safe in there somewhere. Um, this wall here I want to finish off, maybe frame up and finish off. Uh, the, sh the actual wall ends right there behind the shelf. Uh, if I can maybe frame it up and finish off the rest of the way, kind of go around this water heater. Um, it'll make it a little easier for when I'm doing videos. I can't tell you how many times I've been making videos and the water heater or the AC or the heaters kicked on and completely ruined a video segment and uh, just totally frustrated me beyond belief and you know having to restart all that kind of stuff because of something like that. So not to mention you have to wait till the thing turns off, uh, especially this water heater. So um, that'll be kind of nice if I frame that up. Maybe come up with some sort of door system they, as you can see there for uh, the opening here. It's kind of an unusual size. I don't really know why. They cut such a goofy size here to get into this spot, but we'll figure something out there. Maybe a shelving system that's like a hidden door type thing. I don't know. It's kind of play just playing around with my head. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But uh, we'll do something with the ceiling, LED lights maybe to kind of light the place up. But um, just kind of a, a blank template at this point. Really don't have any specific plans. Just kind of uh, wing it through my head at this point. So if you guys have any uh, ideas or suggestions, feel free to throw them out there down there in the uh, comments or whatever of the video. And I'd be happy to look them over and see what you guys got but that's kind of it guys looking forward to kind of making this spot my own and uh, got a coffee table maybe a TV some rugs in here uh, obviously expand the gunsmithing area a little a little bit so be a little bit more comfortable tell me what you guys think hope you enjoyed if you have any questions let me know otherwise until next time take her easy